Well, hello everyone and welcome. This is Donna and welcome to my color and chat. Oh, it has been a long, long night. It is early morning. It is Sunday. The sun is still not up. I just could not sleep last night. And then finally, probably about 4 a.m., I said, okay, enough's enough. You know, who needs sleep anyway? It's highly overrated. So I got up and it's about 6.46 now, still dark out. And um, yeah, so here we are. Normally, I do my videos a little later than this, but we're going to run with it. So I hope the lighting's okay. The only light I have is the lights here at the desk. So hopefully that'll work out okay. I got my go-go juice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still using the go-go juice just to kind of get it going. So I'm going to color in Camila and Jacolva's 50 Halloween mandalas. I'll work on this one a little bit. I just wanted to grab something that I could um, color on where we could chat just for a little bit. This is not going to be a super long video. So I hope you guys will hang around and yeah. All right. So I already spilled a little bit of coffee on this. It never fails. It never fails. I have no idea how these markers are going to work on here. These are new little markers that I just purchased. I got them in the mail yesterday. They say they are neon gel pen on the actual marker. But then on the package, they say that they're metallic pens, one pen, two colors. Basically, they're paint pens that are metallically metallic glittery. The ink actually reminds me a lot of Pentel Sparkle Pops. So I might actually do a video just to show these to you guys, a separate video. But I'll leave a link to these as well as this book in the description down below, just in case you look at it and go, ooh, and are interested in them. So that link will be down there. And we're about to find out how they work on like Amazon paper because I don't have a clue. I quickly laid the colors down on... Um, a piece of cardstock last night, and I was like, oh, those are actually pretty. So that's all I've done with them. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say a lot about this, but because apparently I noticed from my, um, from the response I got, on the community board from my post, a lot of you have, or were just absolutely clueless, didn't have a single idea what or even who I was talking about. So um, that's good, I guess. And um, I'm just not going to go into this deeply, but for those of you who do know and know that there's something going on. I do want to at least address that. Um, as the title of the video says, well, alludes to, you know, the whole time I was growing up, my mom used to always tell me, don't believe everything you hear. And there's always two sides to every story. Um, I think those are things that were taught as children and then sometimes we may forget as adults as we grow older and uh normally i'm going to be honest normally when it comes to any kind of conflict i like to just truly i i would rather just walk away from the situation and i did try to do just that with this situation but i wasn't being allowed to um i kept and i i mean i guess i had that choice but I want to make sure that people do understand kind of where I, you know, was at and was coming from with the whole situation. So at any rate, you got most of you guys may know or maybe some of you don't know myself and Renee have been doing videos together 
here on the channel and she's no longer doing videos here on the channel and um i found out that she had basically made the comment publicly that i asked her to leave the channel and remove her videos which she did and that's not what i said well that's not exactly what i said and I think context is important. It is important. And it just, I'm not going to lie. I'm very irritated that my words were used that way. But I mean, what can I say? So I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to give you guys a brief background. And then I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I said. And then I'm kind of just going to leave it there. And then I'll talk about the direction I plan to take the channel moving forward. And then we'll close up. So a few months back, I was contacted by Renee and she had asked me um, if I wanted to start back making YouTube videos and that, you know, she would help out with that because she said that there were a few um, pencil videos that she wanted to make about colored pencils because she had had people asking her how she did certain techniques and things like that. And she thought that it would be easier to show on video than to try to email or text or, you know, send single pictures or anything like that, which I agree with. It is much easier to do that on video. So, you know, I thought about it for a while and I said, okay, yeah, I, I do. I, I think I, I want to come back. So we were like, all right, let's do this. And we started making the videos together. Um, After a few weeks, I noticed that Renee was really starting to um, kind of, you know, she was branching out a little, but she also had a channel in her name that she was uploading videos to and she was what she was doing is she was putting the video here on this channel and uploading it to her channel which i thought was major overkill um, was going to be very confusing to people and things like that so i did approach renee and asked her to please either um, upload videos to her channel or to this channel not to both channels and i told her then i said you know if you want your own personal YouTube channel, go for it. You know, I think you would do great with it. No hard feelings. We can collab, that kind of thing. And she got really upset then because, I mean, I don't know if she misunderstood, you know, what I was saying. I don't know. But it was a huge thing. She deleted her channel. And that is so not what I told her to do. I simply said upload to one or the other. Um, and told her, you know, hey, if you want your own channel, that's fine. But she deleted her channel and began to upload just to this channel. And then, you know, she was really, really branching out because when we first talked about this, it was, you know, kind of like her pencils, um, things. That's what she wanted to do. And it had gotten to the point, and there's nothing wrong with this, but, you know, I was starting to look at new mediums. I was starting to use pencils more and things. And she was actually starting to use her markers and pens more. And she was making videos about them. And I was making videos about different things. And basically it had become two channels in one. And here is what I said. I said, that we're running two channels in one and I think it would be beneficial to the both of us for us to split them up for you to have your videos that you make on one channel 
me have the videos that I make on another channel or on this channel. That way we will both have like full um, creative freedoms to do, you know, whatever we want to do on our channel, take it however different direction without feeling like we might be stepping on the other one's toes, you know, because it wouldn't make sense if say, you know, for instance, Renee did, she reviewed the, I believe it was the 101 count Cali art brush markers. Well, I got the 120 Cali art brush markers, but it didn't make any sense for me to review them because the 101s had already been reviewed on the channel or, you know, with me doing, um, I had done the Ohuhus, it would limit her to do Ohuhus because it just did not make sense to have the exact same thing getting doubled on the channel. And when it's on two different channels, that's fine. You know, I don't think YouTube should be a competition at all, but um, I just, I just didn't want to have the channel super crowded with all the same thing. And what I told Renee was that I thought it would be better for us to do the videos, give ourselves those freedoms. And what I went on to say was, you know, I think you'll be a great YouTuber. I'll support you, um, you know, things like that. And I'm just going to be honest. She severely overreacted and flipped out. I'm not even going to get into the personal things that was said because I know people say things when they're upset. But in my defense, I will say that I still have copies of all the, e the of the emails and the um, private messages. So, you know, I was smart enough to hold on to all that because of the overreaction that was happening. And as far as removing her videos, I, what I told her was, that it was completely up to her if she wanted to leave the videos here or if she wanted to take them down. Um, I would leave that up to her to make a decision on that, that I was fine either way. And um, she took them and left. And the only thing that she is saying is that Donna asked me to leave the channel and to take my videos down. So as you can see, yeah, I did say that, but I did not say take the videos down. I did not. I said, that is up to you. I did say um, that I didn't think it was, you know, moving forward. I thought that we had moved past having the two channels like we were doing because we were both starting to repeat over each other. You know, I didn't know what kind of video she was really doing. She didn't really know all the videos I was doing. And next thing you know, we've got videos scheduled that are kind of crisscrossing each other as far as, you know, content. And it just seemed that that would be better for everybody, for our viewers, for us. Give us those freedoms. It made perfect sense to me. I don't know. I never meant for it to become any kind of ill will, hard feelings kind of thing, you know, life's too short. It, it, it really is. So at any rate, I'm not going to get into the personal things that were said. Um, I will say that I felt attacked, but um, attacked in the sense that there was some tactics being used that was psychological and I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I wish Renee all the best in whatever she decides to do as she goes forward. And, um, you know, I would hope that she feels the same. We are a coloring community here on YouTube and I think it's important for there to be harmony in that community. So that's all I'm going to say about that, at least for now. Um, I hope that there's not a need to say anything else about it. I hope that it'll just uh, kind of fade away 
and we can all get back to coloring because you know that's what we're here for and that's what we love to do and that's what I want to do. As for the channel, as you guys see, I did put Color with Donna back as the name on the channel. It says Color with Donna Coloritaville or Coloritaville Color with Donna. Um, I wanted to make sure that people knew really who I was because I was running all the time. I would run into um, people who did not know I was back on YouTube making videos. Um, apparently, and something I didn't know is that if you don't go to a channel or engage with a channel for like, I don't know, I've been told six months, I'm not really sure what it is, that YouTube may very well kick your subscription from that channel. Um, I found out that someone who I know was subscribed to the channel before and who thought they still were was not. Um, and that was the conclusion we had came up with was that, you know, I had not made videos in so long that she had not been on the channel. And that's probably what happens. You know, of course, we don't know for sure, but yeah. So that's why I did the thing on the name. And moving forward, I hope to get some sort of a schedule together for you guys. Um, I've had people who ask um, when I'm going to live stream and do streams. Um, so I'm beginning to see that there is some interest in that. Uh, so I'm going to probably put up polls in the community forum and see if you guys can maybe help me out with that. Let me know. One, if you're interested in live streams. Two, you know, what times you're kind of available to do those kind of things because I need to kind of have an idea when you guys are available. And then I need to get with Shalene over at the Coloring Book Nook. She apparently has a list of the times different color tubers do regular streams because I do want to make sure that I don't stream at one of those times, you know, like kind of on a schedule, like at one of those times, because I do not want to take away, you know, from somebody like that. And I don't want to make you guys have to choose, you know, who you're going to go watch. So I think that would be smart. Um, I'm also going to try to put together a schedule of when I intend to um, have like color and chats. I want to do, I want to for sure commit to one color and chat a week. Mm, I would like to commit to two, but the color and chats do take a lot longer to, um, to get up and everything like a full color and chat. So I'm going to commit to one a week. I would like to do more and I need to get a day for that because I, I'd like to upload on the same day every week. So you guys know kind of when to expect the color and chat. And then I'll have a day, hopefully a day of the week for flip throughs. Um, I'm, I would like to start getting flip throughs on the channel of books that are in my um, coloring stash, you know, and so you guys can kind of see what's going on with my coloring books over, you know, over time and um, of course, if I have new books, those flip throughs will take priority. But if I don't have any, then I'll just like pull from my shelf and you'll kind of get to see a whips and um, finish pages and the blank pages too. This is kind of flip throughs. 
So I'd like to do a flip through one day, color and chat one day, and I would like to do a review one day. So I'd like to commit solidly to three videos a week and then have some little fill in things, but you know, here and there, because I'm finding that, you know, I really am liking having a video almost every day, if not every day. Um, but I also know that I don't think I can keep that up long term. Um, I, you know, that's kind of um, what happened before is I got a little burnt out because I was doing trying to trying to do too much. So I'm not feeling burnt out right now. And but I don't want to like solidly to commit to, oh, I'm uploading every day when I don't think I can maintain that long term. But, but I'll have my, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I, I get that. So I'm going to make a schedule and I'll let you guys know when I finalize that schedule, what days it they'll be. And then, like I said, I want to figure out a live stream time. Um, I need to kind of get an idea. Are you guys interested in a once a week live stream or maybe a once every other week um, kind of thing? Do you want it to be the same day um, every week? Cause that is so, I mean, I could try that, but I'm not going to lie. It's hard because with Gary being a firefighter, um, his off days are all over the place. They constantly change. Um, how that basically works is he works a 24 hour shift and then and then he gets um, 48 hours off. Um, sometimes he works overtime in between that. But sometimes he doesn't and he's home on those 48. And I don't. I really, really, really hate the idea of. Um, taking time because he's so patient with my coloring hobby and he's so patient knowing that I do the videos and things like that. And I appreciate it so much. And I don't want to push it by having myself locked up in this room recording to try to meet deadlines when he is home because, you know, we already don't get to spend you know, a lot of time together and I don't want to, you know, make that even less if that makes sense. And I mean, I think that does make sense to you guys. Even if you're not married and don't have a spouse, I think that still will make complete sense. So that's kind of what I want to do with that. I also um, kind of want to get a feel with you guys on what kind of color longs you might be interested in. Um, maybe not necessarily just sitting down and, you know, having, well, I mean, I guess I could do pages and things like that that are scheduled, which I do have one in mind for December that's coming up for a color along and that will be announced in November um, at some point. And, uh, but you know, like what kind of like hashtags and things like that you guys may be interested in. I would like to host um, some things next year and kind of like know what you guys are interested in, what you would be interested in doing and seeing. Um, so I can try to put that together. So I'm going to have a lot of questions for you guys in the next few weeks. Yeah, sure am. <laughs> As I try to get everything all planned out. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to finish this sweetie up today and um, I'll let you guys, this will definitely be in my month end pictures. 
I don't know. I may sit here and finish it up um, and everything, but I don't want to just keep rambling and hold you guys. I've said what I need to say about um, the elephant in the room, and I kind of give you guys a brief idea of the direction I plan to take the channel in. I want to do more color and chats for sure and get down on a more personal level with you guys. I'm going to start opening up more about myself and things like that because I think that I think I'm going to need that therapy. Um, I think I need some talk therapy and maybe you guys are going to be my unknowing therapists that are going to, you know, have to listen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to listen, but you know, you guys may get to learn some things about me that may surprise you because I'm just going to start being a lot more open and honest and not that I've, I've lied about anything, but just I'm going to share. I, I want to start sharing more because I, I need to start talking through some things that are going on. OK, so, uh, yeah, I'll finish this up. Um, I'll try to make sure that you see a picture of it just um, at the end of the video. And hopefully it'll be my thumbnail for the video. So thanks so much for coming, guys. And I will be seeing you soon. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of all my future uploads. Please hit the like button on the videos. It helps my channel or it helps the channel so, so much. Leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. I love to hear from you guys. Until next time, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye guys.